Hi, this is John from Better Done Yourself. Today I want to make some pumpkin butter. There's a bunch of recipes on here for pumpkin butter that you can make out of the pumpkin pie filling, the pumpkin stuffed in a can. I don't know what that is. It's definitely not pumpkins. It's orange, but that's about all it shares in common with pumpkins. This is pumpkins. This is what I want to make pumpkin butter out of. I've had these pumpkins rattling around the house and decorating for the fall season, decorating for Halloween and Thanksgiving and well, as we move into Christmas, I don't think they're going to be very good decor anymore, but they will still be good eating. What I want to do is make some pumpkin butter out of this bad boy. Cut it in half, clean it out, roast it, let the skins just naturally peel off once it's baked, and then once we've got it broken down, we can basically just mash it, mix in our spices and our, our cinnamon, sugar, pumpkin pie spice, or anything you like like that, and then put it back into the oven to finish and, and let it reduce and let it become nice and thick and spreadable and I think we'll have something delicious. Let's take a look at what it's going to take to get this thing into something we can spread on toast and not break a table. From here, all you really need is just a big knife and cut this mother in half. I think the best way to approach this beast is just to have at it. Sounds promising. Pretty color. What I want now is just a big metal spoon and we can scoop all of this out. I think this is my weapon of choice right now. It doesn't have to be perforated. You can just use a metal spoon. Maybe you got a, uh, a pumpkin scoop with you or kids pumpkin carving kit. That'll work. Um, I like this. You're going to want something pretty heavy duty. All right, from here, we just have a half sheet pan and a sill pat. My oven's not big enough to roast all of this at once. I think what we're gonna do is roast it in stages. This was a pretty thick pumpkin. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees and roast it. I'm thinking about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. We'll take a look at it and see how it's doing then. Well, it's been 35 minutes. Let's take a look and see how our pumpkin's been progressing in the oven. Nope, not quite. It feels like it's about half done. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. Eh, give it another 20 minutes. All right, it's been another 20 minutes. Let's see where we're at. Making progress. I'm thinking another 10 minutes and we'll pull it. All right, this pumpkin's got to be All right, done this pumpkin's got to be done by now. Yeah, that's it. Nice yeah, that's it. No nice resistance. and tender, no resistance. That's what I want. That's what let's I want. All right, let's get this out of there. All right, our next task at hand is to free this pumpkin of its skin and I think as I can we can see it's already gonna be pretty easy to do I couldn't imagine trying to peel the skin off of here before it was cooked I need a smaller tool there we go just kind of follow the contour of the pumpkin and we can just knock this skin right off. That's easy. and split it along the deeper grooves and you can get right under it. All 
Once you've got your pumpkin all cleaned out, it'll collect some water. You can just dump that. And that thickens it up. From there, find a some uh, oven-proof container that you can put it in, and then we're gonna augment it. I've got probably four cups of pumpkin here, so I'm gonna go with my recipe. It'll be say four cups of pumpkin, a cup of brown sugar. Get some spices. If you've got some pumpkin spice mix, go for it. I, of course, have to do everything myself. So, nutmeg. Ground cloves are pretty strong. Use a quarter teaspoon. Mace, if you have it, same thing, about a quarter teaspoon. And the final two ingredients, cinnamon and ginger. We'll do two, two teaspoons of each. Time for a new jar. Once you've got all your spices in, you can either put it into a Vitamix or a blender and get it a nice fine consistency. If you have a stick blender, you can use that. And just use that to incorporate all the ingredients and just to break up some of the fibers that are left in the pumpkin. If you do purchase a stick blender, nice feature to look for is that the blender head comes off. This has the motor in it. This part goes in the dishwasher. Once you've got everything mixed together, scrape down the sides, smooth off the top, and put this whole thing back into the oven for another hour. That'll give the chance for the sugar to dissolve into the pumpkin, for all the flavors to meld, and to reduce this a little bit more. I'll get this into the oven, still at 400 degrees, and we'll check it in an hour. All right, so it's been about an hour and the apple butter's pretty much done. It's reduced quite a bit. My kitchen smells great. Let's take this out of the oven and have a look at it. You can see it's thickened up considerably and uh, much more spreadable. It smells good. We've got a little bit of caramelization. We'll stir that right in. If you want, take your stick blender and give it a final blend. And this is done. Let this cool down for about a year and uh, it's, it's 400 degrees, but um, let it cool off and to store it, a lot of people think, hey, let's get it in canning jars and we'll can it. You can't can this stuff. It's so thick and viscous that you put it in a jar, put the uh, canning lid on it and put it in your water bath, put it in your pressure cooker and you couldn't cook it long enough to get it hot enough to sterilize it to make these jars properly can and, and have a, a food safe product that you can guarantee has no uh, botulism in it. So don't can it. You can freeze it, not in this kind of canning jar, but in a straight sided canning jar with no shoulder on it. This has the little shoulder. In a straight sided canning jar, fill it up about that full and when things freeze they expand that it can free, freeze and expand and just grow right up the side of the inside of this jar. If you pack this with apple butter, the apple butter is going to freeze and it's going to break the jar because it's going to catch inside this shoulder and that would be bad. Um, you might have some of these smaller half pints. These are great too. Again, with a straight side, fill them up about three quarters of the way, put the lids on, throw them in the freezer, give them away to family and friends. They're delicious. Same with these. You can freeze these. Do not put these in the freezer. You will make lots of enemies in your household. So that's pumpkin apple butter. Hope you like the recipe. Let me know how it comes out for you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.